Hey guys, welcome to Disney's Top Century. This is my favorite value resort. It has great theming, it's such a great price, and they have the Skyliner, which takes you to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. So we'll uh, take a look at the room, we'll take a look at the grounds, and let me know what you think. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content. So, as we walk in the lobby, first things first, sanitizer. We have some seating. Check-in desks. And you no longer need to check in. You can check in on your app and go straight to your room. You can use your magic band to unlock your door. You really only need to go to the desk if you need to pick up something or you have a question. This is a little kids seating area. My favorite part of this resort is all the memorabilia from all the different decades. So it starts with the 50s, which I think is my favorite. I think I should have been born in the 50s. Over in the 80s section, you can also find another famous couple, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Over in the 70s, you can find this giant yo-yo. So if you've noticed, in all the decades, they, they have these giant objects, which are actually beautiful and add to the theming, but they also serve as a purpose of covering all the staircases. Over in the 50s section, we have large bowling pins. And again, those big objects are there to kind of conceal the staircases. We also have Lady from Lady and the Tramp representing the 50s. And this is the pool. It's shaped like a bowling pin. I don't know if you can tell. Bowling pin pool also has actual bowling balls. And we can't have a lady without the tramp. And look, it's very early in the morning. We need to see a beautiful Sunrise, look at that sky, and look at that jukebox. Okay, so our room is in the 70s section. So we have the big wheel, literally it's big. <laughs> and we have these giant foosball table. All right. Giant Mickey on the phone. Some disco dancers. We are a fan of 
70s, this is the section you want to stay in. If you ever were interested in playing Twister while on vacation, here's your chance. Not something you see every day. Adjacent to the 70s is the 60s, where you find the hippy dippy pool. Looks fun. All the flower spouts. Can you dig it? Peace, man. Peace and love. You can also find Petal's pool bar and some henna and airbrush tattoos, hair wraps, and braids. This is over by the 70s pool. The hippy dippy pool. Apparently, Mowgli is from the 60s? I don't know. Someone look into that? Pop Century is also connected to Disney's Art of Animation Resort, so you can just follow this walking trail to get there. Also in the 60s area, we have a children's splash pad. Nice. And I don't know if you can hear it, but they do play 60s themed music, which is cool. Okay, now we're at my favorite part of Pop Century, the Skyliner. I'm actually gonna take over to Caribbean Beach Resort so that I could transfer over to the Riviera and have dinner at Topolino Terrace. All right, here is the Skyliner in action. It is slightly raining, it's still running. It stops when there's thunder and lightning, which hasn't happened yet and hopefully doesn't happen while I'm on it. But if it does, I'm sure it'll make for a great video. If you're interested in running, you can run 1.3 miles around the lake. I'm not sure why you'd want to run when you walk so much in the parks, but if you can, go for it. So just so you know, Pop Century is huge and the 70 section is actually pretty close to the quick service. There's a short little walk. I am at, in room 242, which is in the 70s building 10. It is a preferred room. It's supposed to be closer to the dining hall and transportation. So let's see what it's like. Ooh, it's nice and cool in here. We have a nice fridge with a glass door, coffee maker, we have some USB and plugs. This is actually a Murphy bed. <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> also wanted to show you that there is storage underneath your bed, which is really helpful. And a safe under the TV. I love the rooms here. They were recently uh, refurbished about like two years ago. They have the nice wood floors, no more carpet. I think they're just a good design. I love that you can fold the bed up and use the table. Some nice Mickey artwork. These beds are so comfortable. Of course, we got our resort TV on. I even listen to this at home. It's so relaxing. Tons of dressers and storage space. Again, more USBs and wall outlets. I want to show you this list of enhanced cleaning that they are doing here. And our remote. Everything is extra clean. Hey, 
okay leading into the bathroom nice open space i love when the sink is separate from the bathroom area so like two people can get ready at once more closet space all right and here is the bathroom pretty standard but very clean you have your h2o beauty products Again, everything has been super sanitized. We have a nice rainfall shower head. Hey guys, so I'm finishing up my stay at Pop Century, of course, with some Mickey waffles that I mobile ordered from Food Court. Everything is mobile order now. I actually prefer it. You know, the Food Court is not crazy busy. It's actually sort of quiet. All the tables are spaced out. I really love it. Pop is such a great value. You still get the Magical Express to and from the airport. You get the park transportation, especially the Skyliner. I mean, that really just makes it a winner for me to get to Epcot and Hollywood Studios within like 10 minutes. I mean, where are you going to get that? If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see some more content, please subscribe. And remember, don't count the days, but make the days count and eat Mickey waffles whenever you can.